Bagels. 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 No more bagels? No more bagels? You're gonna take all the bagels away, and there's gonna be no more to eat. <sighs> oh, it was just a dream. <sighs> What's up everyone, hope you guys are doing well. I've been getting a ton of comments asking if I can show you guys more of the things I eat on a daily basis as a distance runner. So I thought it would be a cool idea to take you guys along for a little grocery shopping trip today. So we're gonna hop in the car, go for a soft little yog at the river trail, and then head on down to Trader Joe's so I can show you guys what I get on a little grocery shopping trip. Let's do it. Ready for a 30 minute run, what is new? I've been running 30 minutes every single day this week uh, with no pain at all in my foot, which is awesome, a huge blessing. Uh, hopefully gonna up it to 45 minutes maybe, something like that next week, but for now, the rest of this week, 30 minutes, let's go. Nice little run just finished, 4.2 miles, 28 minutes, 56 seconds. Really nice, beautiful, sunny day in Huntington Beach, California. It's starting to be nice and sunny every single day, pretty much. I need to get used to running in hot weather again, but yeah, um, really, really nice. Luckily for me, Trader Joe's is just right around the corner, like a two minute drive. So we're gonna head over there now. See you then. Bring in the water bottle chug bag, baby. We're here at Trader Joe's. Unfortunately, they're pretty strict about filming in there, so I cannot bring you guys in with me. At least this location is strict about it. So I will see you guys when I get out with the groceries. So first things first, we're gonna start with some of the uh, dairy type products. So right here we have a half gallon of almond milk that I get. This is the kind I get from Trader Joe's. Uh, regular milk doesn't sit well with my stomach, so I just get almond milk. This stuff is really, really good. I get the original unsweetened kind. I don't really like the vanilla or anything like that. So there's that. Next I have some of this stuff. This is the uh, strawberry kefir organic yogurt. I just have a little bit of this every day. It kind of helps with my digestion I've noticed. And yeah, I just like the taste of it and it's really good. Right here, I have a couple different kinds of Greek yogurt. I bought a couple of the strawberry kind, and I bought a couple of the blueberry kind. These things are great to eat by themselves or in like a parfait with some granola, things like that, fresh fruit. Um, yeah, really delicious, I like these a lot. And then I have this also from Trader Joe's. This is a, a whipped cream, except it's coconut. Of very low in calories, 10 calories, only half a gram of fat per serving. It doesn't really taste too much like coconut either because I don't really like coconut that much. This is really good, has a little bit less calories than the regular uh, whipped cream. This is also great to put on your yogurts, things like that, dessert. I got this, a little over half a pound of the mild California cheddar cheese. I'm not a huge like sharp cheddar guy. I like it usually like a mild to a medium cheddar. This is the kind of cheese I put on everything, you know, things like sandwiches or if I want cheese on my eggs, quesadillas. 
grilled cheeses, everything. This is the cheese I go to. Right here we have an organic mixed berry blend. So this is just uh, raspberries, strawberries, and blueberries, blackberries frozen. These are great to put in my smoothies. I make a lot of smoothies. These are some prepackaged uh, frozen fried rices from Trader Joe's. I got one chicken and one regular. If I happen to have not prepped enough rice for that day or I just don't feel like making rice, I can just open one of these up and throw these in the pan. These are delicious. Uh, the whole bag is like 650 calories and it's really filling. So these are a great uh, little addition to have when I don't have any rice prepped. This right here is definitely my go-to for salads and everything green related. I like my baby spinach a lot. Um, I like it way more than iceberg or mixed greens or spring mix or anything like that. I think this tastes really good. So I always do baby spinach. Got some mushrooms right here. Crimini, crimini, crimini mushrooms. I never know how to pronounce these. These are also from Trader Joe's. Uh, these are great whole mushrooms. You just dice them up. You can put them on pizza. You can put them on your omelets. You can put them in a salad. Really, really great. I love mushrooms. One of my favorite veggies as well. Right here we have a frozen pizza and yes, obviously frozen pizzas are not the most healthy thing. Um, the whole thing has 960 calories. I could easily eat this for dinner and still be hungry. But what I like to do for this to add a lot more volume and make it way more filling without adding too many calories is you grab a couple of the handfuls of the baby spinach, put that on top, it cooks down to almost nothing, goes great on the pizza, slice up some of these mushrooms, maybe you have some bell peppers, some onions, some tomato. I mean, whatever you want, the possibilities are endless, but really I like to do these frozen pizzas and then I'll add a bunch of veggies on top to up the volume, a really, really high volume pizza. And then all of a sudden this pizza is definitely more than enough to fill me up for dinner. So obviously it doesn't make the pizza itself healthy. This is still not the healthiest option, but I do like treating myself to at least a frozen pizza or a fresh one if I feel like making a fresh one from dough. This is my go-to bread from Trader Joe's. It comes in the purple package. It's the multi-grain bread. This goes great for sandwiches or it's great to toast for breakfast with some peanut butter and banana on top, whatever you need. Um, yeah, really, really great. I like this. When you toast this stuff, I swear it smells like a bakery in your kitchen. And of course, one of God's greatest gifts to humans, bagels. I got two kinds. I got my um, everything bagels from Sara Lee. These ones are good for more savory things. I like doing these with like um, egg bagel sandwiches. And then I have the cinnamon raisin Sara Lee bagels as well. These are a little bit sweeter, great with some melted butter or some cream cheese. Obviously not the healthiest option, but it tastes really, really delicious. And I like to treat myself every once in a while to that. And then a couple other things I got from Walmart because they're a little bit cheaper I found than Trader Joe's. Uh, I got a couple of cucumbers. These are great to chop up and have in salads because I try to eat a salad every day. And then I have some avocados as well. I got four of them from Walmart. Uh, I found that these are a little bit riper than the ones that are at Trader Joe's so I can eat them quickly. I don't have to wait for them to get ripe. And they're a bit cheaper when you get them singularly actually than in the bag. So yeah, obviously these are great on salads, avocado toast, sandwiches, whatever. I eat so many avocados. I go through a ton of them. Obviously very delicious, high in fat and high in calories, but I don't mind, they are awesome. And then of course an absolute staple in everyone's diet, I think it should be bananas. These are great in smoothies, great to put in oatmeal, great to put in like a fruit salad or with some yogurt. I also picked up some capellini from Trader Joe's. Um, kind of think of capellini, it's very similar to an angel hair pasta, very, very thin. I like it because it cooks very, very quick. And when I'm hungry for dinner, if I want pasta, I don't have to wait as long. You just throw it in the water for a couple minutes when it's boiling and you're ready to go. So I like my pasta. And then we have some refrigerated fresh chicken breast. Obviously these are great source of protein. So that is pretty much everything I got for my grocery haul today. Um, this isn't everything. Obviously I already have a lot of the essentials so I didn't need everything today. I'm not really huge on counting calories. Uh, I've been running for a long time so I kind of have an idea of what my body needs. If you think it's a better idea for you to count calories and you want to count calories, go ahead and count your calories. When I'm running less mileage right now, you know, I'm kind of back off a little bit. I don't need to eat as much. Obviously when I'm running the 80 to 100 mile weeks and I'm ramping it up training for a big race or an ultra or something like like that, that's when I'm eating, you know, 4,000 to the 4,500 calorie range per day. I try to fuel my body as much as possible with, you know, a mostly clean diet. I do like to enjoy myself, of course. I really believe that the key to any good diet is just a balance, you know, make sure you're not too lopsided on one thing or another. Just have balance. And I think that goes for every facet of life, not just in the kitchen, but you know, every, every part of your life, you know, balance is really the key. That's what I believe at least. And like I say with every video about um, what I eat, you know, this is the diet that works for me. Uh, it's the diet that I like. It doesn't mean you should follow the diet that that's going to work for you. But yeah, I'm going to put all this stuff away because a lot of the things that need to go in the freezer and fridge are kind of starting to melt and definitely need to go in. And then we're going to make a little meal.
our little sandwich is complete. We have an everything bagel toasted with some of my homemade sauce with grilled chicken breast, two over easy eggs, some avocado, and some more sauce on top. That is pretty freaking good. That's gonna be it for the video today, my friends. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the like button. It helps out my videos a ton. And if you have any other specific questions about my diet, feel free to ask it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be good humans, do good things, search for happiness. Peace.